this session is really uh, focused on smart utility infrastructure and we chose um, technology for water sustainability. So the concept is fairly simple. Um, we, we selected an area that's very important to every city and most consumers around the world. So think of water as a uh, limited resource. So the topic was how do we turn around and look at something that's very important, that's the, the water piece of being able to have it as a sustainable resource. And there's two methods of managing that. You can go through conservation, allow people to use less, right? That's certainly one way. The other one is to manage the infrastructure and in essence really look at the leaks uh, that go through pipes and use technology. The key thing was to select technology that's readily available, is scalable, is available globally, and is secure. So with that, uh, I co-chaired uh, the, the main group with IBM and we found uh, a partner that had just ideal technology, technology, Mueller water products. And six months ago, we started the process of uh, pursuing and identifying utilities that thought that this would be a good idea. Three utilities in the US have actually installed the equipment uh, in the last 60 days, knowing it takes months and months to get projects installed. And so the city of Atlanta has completed that installation for the proof of concept and is here uh, with us today. Uh, the city of Los Angeles has done the same thing. We, we are going to have a case study that I'll uh, present here on the Las, Ve uh, Las Vegas Valley Water District. So what's the problem, right? The, the problem is that 20 to 30 percent of water that is produced is lost through leaks. So again, in times when you have a drought in certain parts of the U.S., where you have population growth straining the available uh, resource of water, I think that's a really important area to focus. Again, 20 to 30 percent of water is produced simply goes out to goes is lost through leaks. Only if it surfaces as a leak on a road in a building do actually people take uh, notice and, and pay attention to that. The cost globally is about 14 billion dollars of loss. It's a really, really big problem. When you look at the age of the infrastructure, um, the U.S. having well-defined infrastructure, it's part of the problem. The average age you find that um, is anywhere from 40 to 80 years for about 30 percent of the pipes. So we had the opportunity to um, call up Las Vegas Valley Water and we ended up realizing that Nevada is very, very focused on water and conservation and the Nevada Center of Excellence, it's a desert institute, also had gotten involved and sponsored and supported this project. And so with that, they provide water in the LA or the uh, Las Vegas uh, Valley um, starting in, in the uh, mid 1950s. And provide water to about a million entities, you know, throughout that region. So in a distribution area that again is, is highly stressed because of the lack of water, Leak detection is very, very important. So when you look at leaks, regardless if they're really small or if they're large, they all are really important to be able to pay attention, especially in the distribution system. And small leaks can lead typically to larger ones that can lead to catastrophic damage. And we see that from time to time when a major pipe breaks and there's loss of life and, and uh, property damage. So we think that it's really important to figure out a different way, a new way on how to manage that infrastructure. So with the idea that we wanted to select and use technology that one is available now, is available globally, you know, is secure, uh, Mueller was able to provide the infrastructure, call it the solution, with an acoustical sensor. 
and the acoustical sensor is connected 